G'day guys, Jared McMillan, JJ Rural. Today, I'm going to give you a bit of a lesson of how to do a termination knot. Because why not? So, this is a termination knot. You notice how wire goes around the post, comes back over the wire, under the wire, back over itself, and then we hogtail it off. Yeah, one crucial thing to remember is your wire always needs to go either over, under, over, under, or under, over, under, over, but never over, over, under, under. And that will make more sense in a second. I'll show you how we do it. So, we've got our mark here, so we'll know where I'm going. I'm gonna go around the post. I'm gonna go over the wire like that. Then, grab our wire, fold it back around on itself, under that part there. So it's over here, under there. Turn that around, passes back over itself again. Hence, over, under, over. Then, as we pull that around, we're going to go back under this one again. So we bring that around on itself like that. 90 degrees from our main line, put a crank handle in it there, and then hogtail that off. One, two is all you need. We like to do three, I think aesthetically it looks good. Three, then because we're using any mild or high tensile wire, you can snap, you don't need to cut. So once it's gone to there, I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to itself, and go like a bicycle pedal back towards the knot. We go one, two, snap. It's nice, neat knot, not sharp. Then all you gotta do to set the knot, get it up on your height mark, give it a pull. And that sets that in there, nice and snug. Then we have our tension buckles, we're gonna line them up all the same way. Cut the tag off, out there. Tension buckle, always in through the same way. It doesn't matter which way you go, just try and make them all the same. Line it up with that one. Out there. Kink that off. Then I'll leave that until we've done them all. So when I tie them all up, they'll all pull nice and neatly. So, I'll do the next one again, without talking through it, a bit quicker see it again. All right, ready for a turnbuckle. Right, now at the turnbuckle, I'm gonna do the same process. So, as easy as, over the wire, under the wire, back towards yourself. These are the tricky bits. So you just gotta kinda, as you pull it through, just mold it around with your thumb and your fingers as you go. Yeah, There like that, it's over, back under, crank handle, twitch it off. Always sucks up with the turnbuckles, doesn't it? I haven't left myself with much of a handle. And that's that. 
So, go and practice your knots. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to show you the importance of using the right knot. Um, as you've just seen, we've done the termination knot. And this is an example of why you use a termination knot and not just the generic, I don't know what you call it, a uni knot or whatever. But this is a, a very common way. We're all guilty of doing it. We've all done it. Most of you still do. <laughs> anyway, if you were to go around your post and just do what everybody usually does, is wrap. Uh, wrap. Around like so. Right, like that. I'm going to leave the tag long so you can actually see what happens when we apply pressure to it. Right, so we've got a chain strainer set up here onto the wire. We've even put on the tension gauge so you can see what starts happening here. And what we're expecting to see is as we um, tension this up, before we even get to our required tension, our recommended tension, that'll start to unwind. So let's watch. I'm winding already. Yeah, are we out of our tension? Yeah, we are we are past our tension, but that's a very short run, so it didn't take long to get tension. But that started unwinding straight away. So don't do those knots. Do a proper termination on. Never have to worry about that issue.